in the last video we started off with quinolones correct then we saw that uh, the classification we saw nalidixic acid initially then they fluorinated it with one fluoro one fluoro then they got norfloxacin that's the first generation norfloxacin ciprofloxacin ofloxacin tefloxacin then what happened they added some more fluoro and they added some other things and then they made second generation fluoroquinolones which are active even against the gram positive initially all of them are in they are more aggressive against gram negative bacteria second generation is more aggressive even they can have antimicrobial activity against gram positive okay they are more stable also so they have levofloxacin moxifloxacin gemifloxacin trulifloxacin and there is also one gutifloxacin which is banned now Okay, because it used to cause arrhythmias, etc. Let's see if you can remember these drugs. Norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, norfloxacin, pefloxacin, levofloxacin, gatifloxacin, moxifloxacin, gemifloxacin, prulifloxacin. Okay, so they are saying gemi, gemiflo. Floxacin, floxacin. The way they say it is like it's flowing. Wow. In this video, we actually want to cover the mechanism of action of fluoroquinolones, right? So, mecha mechanism of action they have divided into gram negative and gram positive. Okay, what exactly it does? Let's look at that. Actually, overall, no, it inhibits DNA gyrase. This much you should know. So they inhibit DNA gyrase. What is this DNA gyrase? DNA gyrase is nothing but a topoisomerase. It is going to remove the supercoiling of DNA. So whenever DNA, you know, what happens, it needs to be compacted and fit into that nucleus, right? So what this uh, DNA will be, it will be supercoiled. Now when DNA has to undergo replication, first of all, it has to come out of the supercoiling. Then there is a relaxed circle, they are showing here, relaxed DNA. That DNA opens up and both the strands separate, right? And then each of them duplicates. This is normal. Okay. But now when DNA gyrase itself gets inhibited, so there will be excessive supercoiling of the DNA. Correct? So they will not be able to, as there is supercoiling, they will not be able to become relaxed and there cannot be replication or transcription. Fine. Now, this DNA gyrase, they are explaining, it contains two subunits, A and B. First of all, A subunit nicks the DNA, kind of cuts the DNA. Okay. A will do what? It cuts the DNA and B will introduce negative supercoil, that is, it is undoing the supercoil and then this A will go and rejoin whatever it has cut. You understood, right? One is cutting, the other is making sure that the supercoil is removed and this one, first one goes and reseals it. Okay. This much is clear. Now, fluoroquinolones bind to the A subunit and they interfering interfere with this cutting and resealing. That's all easy, right? very good. Now let's move on. What happens in the gram positive? Uh, it is similar to the one in gram negative but here the major uh, target is enzyme topoisomerase 4. Topoisomerase 4 okay which nicks and separates daughter DNA strands after DNA replication. So there's some change here. So, it is similar to topoisomerase 4. Are you able to see this? Further, you can read about this. Okay. So, this mechanism of action is important. Okay. So, there is double-stranded DNA here and double-stranded DNA here. In addition to the double-stranded DNA here, there is also supercoiling. You should understand that. Still, it is double-stranded double only. See properly. Double-stranded DNA itself is supercoiled. Even after it's relaxed, it is double-stranded only. This further will become single-stranded and go into replication or transcription. Okay. 
shall we move on? In the next video, we should cover the mechanism of resistance, quinolones, the adverse drug reaction of quinolones, then individual drugs ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, pfloxacin, gutifloxacin, we will have to look at. Okay. Bye-bye.